California is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week, the House passed H.R. 3548. That extends unemployment benefits in states with un high unemployment rates and continues and expands the popular tax credit to encourage home buyers into the market. Mr. Speaker, I know that these are very popular programs, but I believe that they're taking us in exactly the wrong direction. By increasing taxes to finance these programs, the government is placing increasing burdens on the economy that I believe are actually making the recession worse. I'm concerned that by raising taxes, we end up making more people unemployed. And I believe that by paying people to buy homes, we're creating yet another housing bubble that will continue to drain the resources of our nation until it bursts. Let me walk through both of those concerns. Under this bill, unemployed workers in states like my home state of California can draw up to 99 weeks of unemployment benefits, almost two full years. Now, I realize the quiet panic that haunts every waking and sleeping moment of unemployed families as they wonder from one day to the next how they're going to get by. I've known that feeling myself. But there's a reason that California suffers one of the highest unemployment rates in the nation. It has one of the highest tax and regulatory burdens in the nation. Business and investment and the jobs that they create flee such hostile environments and seek out less expensive and less burdensome places. One needs only to watch the domestic migration within our own nation from high tax, high regulated states to low tax, low regulated states to see this happening right now before our very eyes. According to the Congressional Budget Office, this bill imposes a net tax increase of two and a half billion dollars in our economy at a time when we can least afford it. It contributes to a self-defeating paradox, higher unemployment in order to help the unemployed. And yet we all know that the only antidote to unemployment is a genuine job. It's true, family breadwinners can see the additional unemployment checks in their hands. They feel the immediate relief. And that's why this bill is so popular. But what they don't see are the jobs that could have ended their agony, but that have now disappeared in order to pay the higher taxes to support those unemployment checks. It is a vicious downward spiral that the supporters of this bill have already tacitly acknowledged when they admitted that they'll have to return before the end of the year to extend the program yet again. Simply stated, we cannot help the unemployed by creating more of them. And yet that's exactly what programs like this are doing. We can see it in the steadily increasing unemployment figures despite record amounts of government spending and borrowing. The second part of this bill is equally popular and it's equally delusional. It extends and expands tax credits for home buyers to buy homes that they otherwise could not afford. Have we learned nothing from the past year of economic hardship? We all know that the catalyst for the recession was a housing bubble that was created by government policies that encouraged lenders to make loans and borrowers to take loans to buy homes that everybody knew they couldn't afford. What's our response now? We're going right back into that same market and creating another bubble by once again encouraging home buyers to purchase homes that they otherwise couldn't afford. And we're doing this just weeks after watching how the Cash for Clunkers program created the same artificial bubble in the automobile market that came crashing down as soon as that program ended. A society in which the government extracts billions of dollars from its economy in order to pay people to buy stuff they can't afford has a rendezvous with a grim accounting. And the longer these programs continue, the grimmer that accounting will be. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back.